Question number 66 is short, sweet, but it very strongly and discreetly checks your theoretical knowledge regarding the same. The question is from ray optics and it doesn't require calculation. It's simply the fundamental and theory behind optical instrument. An observer looks at a distant tree of height 10 meter with a telescope of magnifying power or angular magnification synonymously used of 20. To the observer, the tree appears. So this question is trying to search the meaning of magnifying power. And it just wants to test you how closely and how properly you understand magnifying power. Now you got to understand that magnifying power or angular magnification is something different from linear magnification. When you say linear magnification is 20, that means the image is 20 times taller than the object. But this is magnifying power or angular magnification. So it means the image seems 20 times larger. It's not that the image is 20 times larger, its image seems 20 times larger. And in order to get that result, the distance decreases by a factor of 20. So the visual angle increases 20 times by doing so. So for this, the option would be option number three, 20 times near. As I said, it didn't require calculation, but it really tests how discrete and how proper understanding of magnifying power or angular magnification do you have. That was question number 66. Let's proceed to the next question, question number 67. All right, another short but a theoretical question and that is dependence of resistance with temperature. And here we have to deal with metal and semiconductor. The question is temperature dependence of resistance of copper which is metal and undoped silicon. That means that's an intrinsic semiconductor in the temperature range of 300 to 400 Kelvin is best described by. You'll see options where increasing, decreasing that has to be seen. And apart from that, there's one step higher, the variation type, the nature, whether it's linear or exponential that has been asked. But the examiner did not raise the level of the question as it had to be, or maybe a chance was given to you. Because see, if you talk of metal, the resistance of metal increases with temperature, the temperature is rising, and resistance of semiconductor decreases with increase in temperature. So unfortunately, even if you do not see the linear part and the exponential part, there's only one option, which is option number two, where the resistance is increasing. You just focus on the word increasing and decreasing. There's only one option which matches this. So it could be that a lifeline was given to you. But even in that case, now let's try to see the variation part. For a metal, generally the variation goes in a curve. But for a small temperature range, 300 to 400 Kelvin can be considered as small. The variation is almost a linear one. However, for semiconductor, because in your level you do not discuss those heavy equation, the number of carriers, concentration equation, variation with temperature and all those things, they are not so properly described and discussed in class 12th syllabus, but you can always have an idea and you must have an idea by seeing all those graphs and all those things at relevant point. For semiconductor, the variation is exponential. So even question was made trickily or the question demanded the type of variation, still in that case, it was easily guessable to a great, great degree of precision. For metal, the variation would be linear and for semiconductor, that would be exponential. However, that was not required as already discussed. That was question number 67. Now let's move to question number 68. Okay, another theoretical question and this one from the end of class 12th syllabi, which is principle of communication. And we need to choose the correct statement where, like let me read out option number one. In AM amplitude modulation, the frequency of carrier wave is made to vary in proportion to amplitude of audio signal. And likewise, the meaning of FM has also been asked. So the question is limited up to the level where the question is asking the 
fundamental definition of AM and FM. So here you know that we have two signals. One is the audio signal and other is the carrier signal. The carrier wave or carrier signal has a very large frequency. And the idea is if the amplitude of carrier wave varies in proportion to audio signal, that would be called as AM. And if the frequency of carrier wave varies in proportion to the audio signal, that would be the frequency modulated wave or FM wave. So that's the basic point. And by all those combinations, you would see that option number four satisfies the right one. In AM, the amplitude of carrier wave is made to vary in proportion to the amplitude of the audio signal. So in that particular way it goes. So in FM, the audio signal, you know, controls the frequency of carrier wave and in AM, the audio signal controls the amplitude of the carrier wave. That's a fundamental difference, uh, quite an easy one. So that ends up question number 68. We'll move now to question number 69.